What's going on everyone? I'm here today with a special video talking about the cut vehicles in Halo Infinite. So we got the Komodo, the Warskiff, and the Cougar. Let's get into the first one. So very recently Zmods uploaded gameplay of the prototype of the Komodo. Now this is in a secret leaked build so not many people can show this off. Now the Komodo, it might look like a small tank, but in fact it is not, unless this is like a banished like remake, but this is what the Komodo looks like. Notice the back two wheels and how it looked like in the blockout version. This is a vehicle in Halo 5. It is a general purpose super heavy truck manufactured by Traxxas Heavy Industries. Komodo rigs are used by the Lying Dirtmund Corporation of Meridian to support the company's excavation operations transporting fuel and power cells to and fro across the rugged gra glasslands. I almost said grasslands, so that would be the opposite. <laughs> so, basically, they made this vehicle into a weapon or, you know, a tank in general, of something between a warthog and a tank, and the reason why is because, well, it shoots. They obviously put something to take all the fuel and project it into a beam. Now, that's why this could be a banished Komodo, you know, because look at the red spewing, like, plasma. They could have taken the ones from Halo 5 and updated them to be weapons and, you know, assault vehicles. But anyways, before I get ahead of myself, I do want to disclaim that these vehicles probably are still coming to Halo Infinite. Now, the reason why I say that is because look how big they are on the maps. And you'll notice that in the other ones too, they're all big. I believe that they were made or are being made for the Tatanka game mode. So let's cross our fingers and hope to see them in the future. The next vehicle is the War Skiff. This is the banished War Skiff and it is much larger than it appears. Now check this thing out. It kind of looks like the Halo 3 Prowler, but it's probably twice the size. Now, they could probably scale this thing down to be, well, the same size, honestly. But, you know, it's hard to tell because this is actually in the game this way. It looks pretty normal when you're walking up next to it, but once you get inside of it, that's when it... <laughs> that's when it really gets small. Like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell. It might just be really uh, early on. Um, but this is what it would be like. You can't actually see this vehicle in the campaign with its textures on, but it is a scenery prop and blown up. So you don't get the best idea of what it's gonna be like, but you could pretty much put everything together from the picture I've shown you and, and get an idea of what this vehicle will be like when it's released, if it's released, that is. Anyways, just enjoy this gameplay from Alpha Archive. Now, if you want to see the full version of any of these videos, I have them all down in the description. There are all about 5 to 10 minute videos, but I only used about a minute and 30 seconds of each one of them, just so I can have some proper coverage of each vehicle. Now, some of these vehicles have some pretty interesting things about them that you probably wouldn't expect to see. For example, the skiff actually has damage states still, and I mean, as you could probably figure out by the campaign they did use the damaged state of it <laughs> as the prop like it's blown up and everything so I guess that makes sense so let's get on to the next vehicle this is the Cougar this vehicle was featured in Halo Wars concept art and it might also be one of the vehicles that they were talking about in interviews because we know that we're definitely getting something between a warthog and a tank or maybe we're getting a whole entire arsenal of vehicles between a Warthog and a tank, like a Banished version, a UNSC version. That would actually make sense with this, and I could see the Komodo countering it as a Banished adoption of the UNSC vehicle. That would be pretty badass. Now, this vehicle has several seats on it, unlike the tanks and vehicles in the game <laughs> that aren't actually made for that, which is really interesting. That's always been a thing that people in Halo have loved. Extra seats for transport, especially in campaign with Marines. Um, so it's interesting seeing this as in the tank and campaign did not have that feature, which is very disappointing. Maybe they just thought it was too OP, you know. But, uh, yeah, it has some cool grenade launchers, just as you would expect, and 
I should also have a machine gun. Dropping from orbit. Mow them down. <laughs> Normal vehicle honking. But as you can see, it drives around pretty normal. But yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think about all these vehicles. I cannot wait to see the full version of them. And the future of Halo, if there is a bright future for Infinite, I really think it could be amazing still. Soon. TM. Trademark. <laughs> but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you haven't already, and please subscribe if you enjoy my content. I will have more coming at ya. It's Corbin, and peace out.